morning, I'm Rena Ninen. And I'm TJ Holmes with the top stories on this Friday, July 10th. We begin with the history making day in Columbia, South Carolina. The Confederate flag being taken down this morning from the grounds of the State House. The flag will be taken down at 10 o'clock Eastern Time this morning after the governor signed a bill calling for its removal. Protests against the flag, often used to symbolize white supremacy, gained momentum after the racially charged church massacre in Charleston. The head of the FBI says it's no accident there were no terror attacks in the U.S. during the 4th of July holiday. James Comey says 10, per, 10 ar recent arrests of ISIS supporters nationwide helped save lives. He is certain some of those suspects had plans to kill over the holiday. Police nationwide were warned to be extra vigilant. FDA changing the warning labels on popular non-prescription painkillers. FDA now says Advil, Motrin, and Aleve increase the risk of heart attack and stroke. That risk begins with the very first dose. The more you take and the longer you take it, the higher the risk will be. And there's a new opportunity to keep up with the Kardashians. Madame Tussauds in London has just unveiled a new wax figure of Kim Kardashian West. It's the first ever selfie taking statue there, so guests can rub shoulders with the reality star and hit the button on her phone to snap a selfie. The Kardashian figure will be joined later this month by a wax figure of hubby, Kanye West. Get those tickets in advance, folks. You want that selfie? I do. I actually do. I'm, I'm not afraid to admit. Actually, I'm embarrassed to admit. <laughs> We'll get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Rena Knight. And I'm TJ Holmes. Thanks for watching, folks.